Antichrist. Who is he? Where is he and when will he appear? These questions have troubled the church since antiquity. From time immemorial, Christians have been waiting for the Antichrist, an ominous biblical character and the events associated with him. Mark of the Beast, a terrible time of great distress. Should we fearfully expect this? The Bible clearly enough shows during what events this will happen. First, there will be a resurrection of the dead. Dead Christians will be resurrected for eternal life. They will receive new, imperishable bodies. The resurrection of the dead will be followed by the rapture of the church. When it will be? The book of the apocalypse reveals all these events in their chronology. There are seven seals, seven trumpets, and seven bowls of God's wrath. At the opening of every seal, the sound of every trumpet, and the outpouring of every bowl, catastrophic terrible events will take place. At the sound of the sixth trumpet, a third of humanity will perish. At the seventh trumpet there will be the resurrection of the dead and the rapture of the church. At the same time, the beast will appear, which is the Antichrist. The Antichrist will be only seven years, three and a half years of which he will fill the world with extreme evil and horror. He will set himself up in God's temple, proclaiming himself to be God. He will introduce chips and a mark on people. Anyone who doesn't worship him will be killed. The wrath of God will increase after the seventh trumpet. When the Lord takes his children, the seven last plagues will be poured out on the earth. Where are we today? We are living at the fifth seal. When hundreds of thousands of Christians are martyred every year, millions are under oppression for believing in Christ. After the fifth seal, there will be a sixth seal. Someone is already waiting for the seventh seal, the appearance of the Antichrist. But the sixth seal hasn't yet opened, at which there will be terrible cataclysms. An earthquake in which every island and mountain will be removed from its place. Not even the sky will remain. Meteorites will hit the earth. History keeps the memory of the terrible events of the past. Epidemics, wars, natural disasters. After the sixth seal, earth and heaven will never be the same. Everything will change. Do we need to focus on the Antichrist? Almost 2000 years ago, the apostles asked Christ, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He said to them, it is not for you to know the times or dates the Father has set by his own authority. Because it wouldn't happen in the age of the apostles. Jesus clearly focuses, go preach the gospel, and don't live in fear. Christ didn't say to the apostles, be on your guard against wars, epidemics and all cataclysms. He shows the most important. Watch out that no one deceives you. False messiahs and false prophets will appear. Jesus focuses not on one antichrist, but on antichrists who have been active for thousands of years and who do more harm than the one antichrist who will appear at the end of time. They make up the army of antichrists on the basis of which the main antichrist will come, whom the Lord Christ will destroy by the splendor of his coming. Who is the antichrist? Antichrist is the one who argues against Christ, and against Christians, and the one who is instead of Christ and God. Therefore, there are many fakes in the world. Many try to show that they are from God, that they are with God, but there is neither God, nor love, nor truth. The Apostle Paul warned the early church that the spirit of Antichrist was already at work. And it is the church that restrains him and doesn't allow him to open himself ahead of time. The Apostle John taught how to discern Antichrists. Antichrists are those who went out from the church. They were in the church, but they neglected the church and the children of God. People who have left the church don't know God. They are in darkness, live in error and spiritually dead. Antichrists neglect the apostles of Christ, their message and teaching. The apostles are the foundation of the church. We have a relationship with Christ and God through the apostles. Antichrists make a substitution of Christ, calling themselves the church. Some hold on to fornication, others to theft, others to idolatry and other sins, and not to the holiness and purity of God. Antichrist oppose the body of Christ, and the body of Christ is his church, his children. Antichrists bring division into the church, not the teachings of Christ. And those who bring division don't serve our Lord Jesus Christ. Think about where you invest your life, finances, time, energy. The one who communicates with antichrists, false teachers and finances them, is an accomplice in their crimes. Christ, the apostles and millions of Christians gave and continue to give their lives for the true church. If you cannot figure out where are the children of God and where are the children of the devil, then you don't know God. Today, run to the true church where the Bible is studied and put into practice, where people change and where people are saved. Today get close and help build the church. For this is the most valuable thing you can do. Give your life, time, finances for the salvation of human souls and the building of the house of God. God bless you.